Hey guys, Rushkit J back with another video for you. Today we're looking at the NVIDIA GeForce 750 Ti. This is the new Kepler replacement cards they've brought in. I almost cocked that up. Um, but these are the Maxwell architecture. It's coming in at £114 this version. I know you may think it doesn't look like a lot. It's actually packing quite a punch for the price. So this is going to actually coming in at the 650 Ti kind of replacement point but it's so much more power efficient it's just actually unreal um, for the full review please click on the link down by my pinky down here that will take you to the OC3D website where we've got the full written review um, but basically this is going to give you twice the performance per watt compared to the old Kepler graphics cards and I've got some little things I'll put on the screen to show you now as well and it's going to give you uh, four times the power efficiency over the four years um, it's actually, considering it's so small, it's it's doing really well for frames and things like that as well, frames per second. I've got a chart here that shows all different games. It's actually doing a better performance than the, the 260X, which is really good as well. That's actually using 60 watts with this uh, 750 Ti over the AMD, which uses um, 115 watts. So you're getting a better performance and it's even quieter and also using less power as well. And also a quick thing to note is this is a 55 mil cooler, but the card itself is 160 millimeters. So it's gonna be perfect for the mini ITX rigs, um, possibly steam boxes as well, I was thinking of, um, because you know they're quite a popular thing that are coming in as well. Um, but yeah, home theater PCs, that kind of business, definitely gonna be uh, one to think about putting in as well. Um, but yeah, ridiculous. And we're gonna actually have a look at the card itself quickly so you can see the the main cooler is a 55 millimeter fan on here very small um, and it's not got any cover I think a nice little cover over it would look cool uh, just to finish it off nicely um, but yeah the fan itself does extend over the the edge of the the single card slot design um, but you know it's it's a still a very compact card you see the heat sinks there as well some of the capacitors you can see as well All the circuit boards in view. I do actually like the look of circuits though, so for person, personal preference, that does actually look quite nice. Two DVIs on the side as well, and a mini HDMI. This will also support DisplayPort, and that will be an optional feature as well. Um, also, one thing on the corner is that's where a six pin would go usually, because you can see the six pins there, which would go into the PCB and then it would run off down, blah, 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 all, all the way. But yeah, it's quite interesting to see that there's the actual place for it, but it's not on there. Maybe that will be something on, you know, different versions that use different coolers that may require um, more power. But yeah, it's just a nice little thing I noticed on there as well. Uh, let's take a look at the back. It looks pretty tidy. It's very, obviously, very small, we've mentioned already. But yeah, it's 160 mil, so you know, it's perfect to mini ITX size. And uh, this gives you some rough ideas of what kind of specification you're going to get for this as well at 115, 114 pounds. So it's got uh, 640 CUDA cores, the base clock is 1020 megahertz, and the boost is 1085. It's going to be available with one or two gigabytes of RAM, and also that is going to be running at 5400 megahertz. Um, but one thing I'm wondering about is this is called the 750 tie, right? So, if they upgrade the rest to use this new, more efficient power, what are they going to call them? Because you can't bring out something with the same name, and if it's a different architecture, it's going to confuse the hell out of people. Um, so, mm, it's going to be interesting to see. 750, could they call, you know, if they did it uh, a, a, a Maxwell 780, could they call it a 780M? Maybe? That would work. Hmm, it's going to be interesting though. Place your bets. Leave me a uh, a comment what you reckon. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, for the full review, please click on the link down in down here. Down here, that will have all the graphs and stuff as well for you to read and all the performance uh, comparisons you can do against the other cards that are available. But yeah, using 60, 60 watts, ridiculously low power, excellent performance, and. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what else they bring out with uh, these new cards as well. So, yes. 
So that was a quick look at the 750 Maxwell tie. Thank you for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you all again very soon.